Hello, I'm Kendra Von Esch, and you are listening to my 10-minute daily podcast, Reality Reflections. I bought into what this world said would make me happy. Money, prestige, power. And hey, if it feels good, do it, because life is stressful, so party hard. Do whatever makes you happy. But that didn't quite work out, because I felt even more insecure, full of fear, shame, and anxiety, and never, ever good enough. Then God found me and flipped my reality upside down and transformed my life. And I want this for everyone. So I left my executive career to help others find true acceptance, supernatural peace, joy, and love that only comes from a relationship with God. Here is my reality reflection for today. As we sit here on the Wednesday of the octave of Easter, I'm just wondering how is it going? Are you sliding back into your old ways? Are habits kind of coming on you hard? Are you even paying much attention or are you just sitting here saying, you know what, I got eight days to be out here doing what I want and celebrating the resurrection of Jesus. As long as you are actually celebrating the resurrection of Jesus, go for it. But many times we are out there saying that we're going to do one thing and we're doing it in another way. So we're saying that we're celebrating Jesus, but we're only doing this activity because we want to do that activity because quote unquote, we're allowed. Maybe now that Lent is over, I can have this thing that I cut out of my life. That was not good for me. And maybe you're wondering why is it that I cannot turn away from this? Like I was during Lent. Let's stop, pause, and pray, shall we? Because that is the time that we really need to open our eyes and open our ears and really pay attention to what's happening because God is showing us, but it may not be exactly what we want to see or what we want to hear. Just like today in the reading, that man at the beautiful gate, looked at Peter and expected gold and silver. But Peter said, hey, I've got, I don't have that, but I've got something even better. And it's healing from our Lord Jesus. So in our lives today, maybe we are still struggling. Maybe we still need that hand-holding every single moment of every single day and ask Jesus to come into our heart, to change our heart. Because some of us may be saying, yes, I want to be healed. But yet we don't want to be healed because we are comfortable in our brokenness. We are Maybe not loving it. Maybe we're not thriving in it, but we're comfortable in it. And it may be bad for us. We may be doing damage to ourselves in this state of comfort, but it's familiar. And so we'd rather stay there than go out into that unfamiliar place And accept that change in us. Our bodies want to go back because it's comfortable. Even if it's uncomfortable, it's familiar. So this is where we have to pay attention. And today, let's ask the Lord to open our eyes, to open our ears, and most importantly, open our hearts so that we can be that beautiful soul that is free from sin, that is 
free from laziness, let's say it was that we were adding something into our life, like prayer or more time with God, we were getting up early. What is it that you are now focusing on in your walk? Just because it's the octave of Easter and we're supposed to be celebrating doesn't mean that we shouldn't be working on something every single day. So what is it today? How are you going to glorify God? And maybe you aren't struggling with anything. Maybe you are having an absolutely glorious third day of Easter. And you are on cloud nine. You have so much zeal for life. Let's thank God so often. Ah, so often we forget to thank God. We just go about our day. We know that we're happy. We know that we feel different. But we forget to thank him. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. It's truly right and just. It's our duty. It's our salvation. It is for our benefit. The more we thank God, the more grateful we are, the more our attitude changes. The more we have stepped into a whole new spirit. And that, my dear friends, is what all of us should be doing every single day. Stepping into that new life with God, that new day, that new behavior that we want to exhibit, that we want to live genuinely. So let's look at what God wants us to work on today. Maybe he wants us to open our eyes and ears to something that we did not expect. Maybe we were expecting someone to come up to us today with money in their hands, but they came with something even more valuable. Jesus Christ, and we were healed in a whole new way. Okay, stay tuned for the membership. I'm getting there. I've got to do a couple more videos to like invite people to it. And I got to be in the right, you know, frame of mind. I have to be in the right spirit and I need God to fill me. So pray, 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 pray. And I hope that you join me. Too much information. We're going to be going on over there in that membership club. <laughs> Soul, mind, body support. That's what it's called. We're going to go there and we're going to be there for each other. And I cannot wait. It's hard for me to like keep things quiet on podcasts and other videos because I want to keep things in this little community. I don't know, very intimate, very vulnerable, very too much information. Like you thought you heard a lot from me before. You ain't heard nothing yet. Let's get on over there and let's walk this walk together, helping one another, soul, mind, and body. I cannot wait. And yes, I am below 10 minutes. We're going to pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, we still celebrate your Son's resurrection. What a plan you had for us. None of us could have ever imagined that this was what you had in mind, that Jesus was going to save us in ways that we could not even comprehend. And so that's what's going to happen today. In this Wednesday, we are going to be saved yet again. And we have an opportunity to be the light of Jesus to everyone that walks into our path and that we can love and be kind and 
glorify you, God, to people all around us who have no idea who you are. Remind us that that is our job. That is our duty. That is our salvation, is to bring you to the world, the truth, the way, and the life, so that people can feel your love, your forgiveness, your kindness, and your transformation in healing in their lives. In your Son, Jesus' name we pray, Heavenly Father. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All righty, get on out there. Reach down into your toes and pull up the zeal of life. Have God's spirit fill you to the brim and go smile. Go thank God and glorify him by your life. Find something more with God, soul, mind, and body. Have a blessed and inspired day.